Hello everybody, so Calathero here, welcome you back to more tutorials. So I've been deciding, well kind of contemplating on doing some more tutorials for people. I've been seeing in my Discord, I get a few requests here and there for somebody asking like how to do a certain thing or how to, uh, how to prevent something from happening on a vehicle or what it is that I'm doing to uh, each vehicle and why I do it the way I do it. So. I'm going to go ahead and start doing a few more tutorials for Zmod. Um, I know a lot of people have been inspired to start doing non-ELS vehicles, starting with uh, my original tutorial for it. And they have moved on since then to a better way to do it, which I have finally done myself. Uh, at least I feel like I have anyways. But um, I'll go over that with you guys later on in different tutorials. But today... We're going to do something kind of real basic, I guess you could say, but it's something that gets overseen a lot with vehicles. I notice whenever I uh, whenever I use a vehicle for my uh, LSPDFR series, that isn't one of mine. And that is going to be how to make, and this comes from a person in my Discord that I saw they, they asked this question, but it's going to be, how do you make a piece of glass from tinting? So, in LSPDFR videos, sometimes you'll notice that my rooftop light bar looks kind of dim and the lights are not so bright. The reason that is like that is because the glass tents with the default game tent settings because it's glass. So, I'm going to show you how to prevent that today. So, for this example, I don't have a light bar on the car yet, but I'm going to use one of the factory windows here so that you can see how to do it. It's really simple and it's just a few steps. Big thanks to my uh, my buddy Branson for showing me how to do this when I didn't know how to do it before. So I think what we'll do is on the driver's side rear door here, I'm gonna make this part, this little section of the window not tentable. So I'm going to go ahead and turn everything off. I'm gonna open up my hierarchy. I'm gonna look for driver, yep, there we go. Driver's side door, rear, and then the glass. There's the glass right there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this section not tentable. So I'm gonna go ahead and select all of this and I'm gonna detach it. Just for while I'm working with it because I don't wanna accidentally do anything to the original one. So now we have just the piece of glass and an autosave. This is probably going to be a thing throughout my tutorials as well. I despise the autosave. You guys have probably heard me say it multiple times on on uh, live streams, but it's a thing and I just got to deal with it. And then I always save afterwards just because it's a good reminder, I guess. Um, so what you're going to want to do is you have your glass highlighted here, like so. Uh, we can turn off detach. Um, yeah, we could leave that on. Okay, so first thing to do is you're gonna go to your properties. You're gonna go to your vertices, your format, and you'll get this drop down box right here. I am not too familiar on which one of these you have to pick. I always just do this, and I, that is probably not the correct way, but that's just what works for me. The next thing I do, is for the UV channels, you're gonna change that from a three to a two, and then apply. Notice nothing's changed. Nothing is going to look like it changes on this, and it looks like there's no glass on the other side, so it's only the outside, I guess. Must have went poly saving by not doing the entire thing. Let me see. Yep, it's not on the other side there either. All right, so that is done. Next thing you wanna do is enter the vertex mode, and you're gonna highlight everything in vertex mode. You're going to go to select, you're going to go to paint, you're going to go to channel, you want to go to A, you're going to go to here, you're going to change your color, you want to do black. From my understanding, and again, I don't understand all of this 100%, so I am not the go-to source, I'm just showing you how I do it. The darker the color, which obviously this is black, the less... Uh, 
the less tint there will be, or no tint in this case. And the lighter the color, I'm assuming like a really light gray, the darker it tints. But again, I could be wrong on that. You go to OK. Then you're going to click Fill Selected. And that is it. That's all it takes. You can unhighlight that, unhighlight that, unhighlight that. And then you're going to go ahead and attach it back to the car, like so. And that's it. That is literally it. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to, let's see here, projects. Yes, projects, special recordings, tutorials, testings. We're going to do textures. And then we're going to do a new one and we're going to call it police eye. I don't need to lock the vehicle because I'm not giving this to anybody. And then again, I don't do LODs anymore just because. I'm lazy and don't like to do them, so I'm going to do police, and that should be it there. Um, it has been a while since I fired up my, my PC. I am going to have to check a few things here. Whoops. Uh, it has been quite some time. I don't know which GTA is installed. Okay, I believe it's my 5M one, so that's perfect. So. We're going to do this, go to my dev server. Going to actually, I got to remove my cache. There we go. I'm going to go to resources, my mods and vehicles. I think I have something here in random that boots up. Okay. We'll call this tutorial. And this is where we're going to put our vehicle file. So we're going to go into the project folder here um you know what i just realized i don't have the texture file yet either so we're gonna have to whoops tutorial we're gonna put our vehicle in there i pulled this car where did i pull this car from this project file um this is my lap no it's my chp pack so it's gonna have some textures in it that is not gonna be correct but just for the sake of uh, time, we're going to go ahead and use this one uh, for the meantime. So we're going to rename this to police just so we have that. Okay, so we should have the vehicle working now. I'm going to go ahead and start up my 5M server. Again, it's been about a month since I turned on my PC, so you have to bear with me for a second here. It might not start up right away. This might not work right away. It has been, like I said, quite a while since I have done uh anything on my pc of course you guys have not seen the impact for those of you watching on youtube because i typically upload in advance all of my content and i try to get you guys multiple uh i try to get ahead like a month or two uh and then this typically happens just because i have all the ocrp vehicles in my server too to make sure that anything i add isn't conflicting with anything else for OCRP that I've created. So it does take a little while to load up the uh, sieve cars because there are a lot of files. Exit out of that. I'll go ahead and fire up my 5M. It's probably gonna need to update because again, yep, there it goes. So it looks like my server is up and running. I just need to update my game. There we go. That should be good. I not like that command prompt to be behind it for some reason. There we go. Okay, I am in here now. Um, again, it has been a while. Let's go to localhost. I'm assuming that's what you click these days. This has changed a lot since I last saw it. Now, I made this vehicle as a replacement vehicle, so that way I don't have to change um, or create any car variation or vehicle.meta files. I will go over that with you guys in future tutorials. 
I'll kind of, I'll try to best explain what each line does in those files, uh, including in the Karkles file. From what I understand, again, it's very loose on what I do know and what I don't know. So I'll uh, I'll just go over with you guys what I know each controller does from the uh, experience and the generosity of other people helping me out when uh, I was trying to learn this stuff. Oh, waiting for our server to boot up. Here we go. And it looks like we got Jace here. And we'll run down here and see if we can spawn our vehicle. Police. Okay, our vehicle is spawned. It's obviously got a weird look to it just because it's got a few things on it. It's got a livery on it. Um, let's go ahead and go to vehicle options. Go to mod menu. And let's see if the window tent works. Yes, it does. Okay, so see how all the windows are tinting? And as you can see, the headlights are broken, so that would be something I would want to address. And the taillights. Oh, taillights are actually good. Okay. But yeah, see, so there's one of the reasons why you would want to do that, because you don't want turn signals tinting, and you don't want headlights tinting either. But to the part of where we're trying to get to here... As you can see, I'm going to put some window tint on. Window tint works complete, except on the inside. That's because the glass is not there. Oh, but as you can see, it's tinting that part to something else that would need to be fixed. But from the outside, the section that I did not want to tint is now not tinting. Like I said, this is very helpful for when you want to do a police car and you want to put a light bar on it or lights on it anywhere because then you won't get this issue where stuff is tinting and not seeable and then i'll make it nighttime as well so you guys can see that so see we have no window tint on the front and then we start to darken it and i really can't see the headlights because of that so this is why you really want to do this. It just makes it that much easier on somebody using your vehicle and it also makes it so that you don't accidentally have a light bar tinting itself. But uh yeah, that was that was pretty successful. That's the first uh first tutorial I wanted to get for you guys here. Uh thank you guys for tuning in. I hope this helps you out as well. Like I said, we will be doing more. Uh, I do plan to do a revamp of my template making, which I'll do that as well. I think we're going to use this car as our project car for all the different things. Um, I'll show you guys how I do dirt mapping. It's not the best, but it works for what I needed to anyways. I'll show you guys why I change colors in Zmon for certain body panels and whatnot. I'll show you guys how to do a template again. Uh, let's see what else can we do I could show you how to do a rotating spotlight and yeah uh, if you guys got anything else you want to see that maybe I know how to do feel free to leave it in the comments below and I will try to add that as well um, outside of building the car I'll show you guys how to do a carcals file as best as I can with what I know I'll show you how to do a car variation file a vehicles meta file uh, I I'm not very familiar with handling lines, so I can't help out with that part. But uh, yeah, I'll try to get you guys a few different things on what I can use and what I know. So that way you guys can uh, make your own vehicles as well. But uh, anyways, guys, thanks for tuning in again to this tutorial. Let me know down in the comments below if you have any questions or if you uh, want to request something in the future that maybe I didn't just mention. But uh, I hope you guys subscribe to the channel and stay tuned as we're going to be doing uh, more of these in the very near future. But until next time, take care.